Once upon a time, there was a boy named Adam who was very disobedient to his parents. He never listened to his mom nor his dad and spent most of his time playing video games. Whenever his parents tried to advise him, he would ignore them and shrug them off. His parents grew increasingly anxious about his behavior and feared that he would never appreciate their love and care. One summer holiday, they decided it was time to teach him a lesson. They arranged for Adam to stay with his Aunt Martha, who lived in a small town far away. Adam didn't mind at first, thinking it would be fun. For the first few days, Adam enjoyed his freedom. He woke up late, called out for breakfast, and settled in front of the TV. But unlike his mom, Aunt Martha didn't rush to serve him. He had to wait a long time for his breakfast, and when it was ready, she called him to get it himself. Adam grumbled but obeyed. As the days went on, Adam began to notice other things. When he went out shopping with Aunt Martha and asked for snacks or toys, she simply said, that's not good for you, or you don't need that. Adam thought about how his dad used to buy him whatever he wanted without question. Worst of all, Aunt Martha had rules about playing games. She only let him play for an hour or two and then asked him to help with chores like sweeping the floor, washing dishes or watering the plants. At first, Adam was frustrated and sulky, but he had no choice but to help. Days turned into weeks and Adam began to realize how much he missed his parents. He missed his mom's quick warm breakfasts and how she always took care of him without complaint. He missed his dad's generosity and the way he always made him feel special. Most of all, he missed their love and attention, which he had taken for granted. One evening, Adam sat alone in his room and began to cry. He picked up the phone and called his mom. I miss you, mom, he said between sobs. I want to come home. His mom's voice was calm but firm. Adam, you didn't listen to us when you were here. You always ignored us and treated us badly. Do you really want to come back? Adam nodded. Even though she couldn't see him, I'm sorry, Mom. I have realized my mistake. Please take me home. I promise I will never disobey you again. His mom's voice softened. We love you too, Adam. That's why we wanted you to understand. We'll come and get you tomorrow. The next day, Adam's parents arrived at Aunt Martha's house. Adam ran to them and hugged them tightly. Tears of joy and relief filled his eyes. Thank you, Aunt Martha, his mom said. You have helped us so much. It was my pleasure, Aunt Martha replied with a smile. Adam is a good boy. He just needed a little reminder of how lucky he is. From that day on, Adam kept his promise. He listened to his parents, helped around the house, and even spent less time playing games. He realized that his parents' love and care were the greatest blessings in his life, and he vowed never to take them for granted again. And so, the family lived happily, their bond stronger than ever.